Hello and welcome to 8 Minute Golf. Today we're at St Michael's Golf Club in New South Wales, Australia. St Michael's is 30 minutes from the City of Sydney and 15 minutes drive from the airport. Golf Digest rates this course as one of the country's finest, with a wonderful natural sand belt layout, surrounded by National Park and the Pacific Ocean. It is a challenging course with a slope rating of 135, as there is plenty of trouble off the tee, and most greens are well protected. Come and enjoy a quick look at the course from 1 to 18. St Michael's has excellent practice facilities, with Cullen's driving range at the top of the hill, chipping and bunker green, and two practice putting greens. Best if you have a practice putt to get used to the fast greens. From the pro shop, the first tee is a 200 metre walk past the 18th and practice putting green. If you want refreshments, you can buy them in the clubhouse at the bar. The opening hole at St Michael's is a tough par four, with out of bounds on the right and trouble on the left. It's a long and narrow par four that usually plays into the prevailing onshore breeze. The drive is key here and short is better than long with your approach to a small green. A classic dogleg right hole, regarded by many as one of the best par fours in the country. From the tee, you can see very little landing area, with a large sand dune covered in trees and shrub, requiring 170 metres to carry. It's a daunting tee shot, but if you can hit a high and straight long iron or utility club, you'll be left with a short iron into a small and well-guarded green. One of the few uphill par threes in Australia that is well regarded as a great test. Take an extra half club for the uphill dune and typically you'll need an extra club into the prevailing onshore breeze. There are no bunkers but plenty of trouble long and right. Best bailout is left. A beautiful downhill par four that is not long but requires precision off the tee to avoid the dam on the right and trees on the left. A good play is to hit a long iron or utility off the tee, leaving a short to mid iron into a green that slopes from back to front. A long par three that is well guarded from the tee and requiring a mid to long iron across bushes and scrub. The bailout is on the left side of the green, though there is a bunker if you stray too far left. Short is okay. Right will leave you with a very difficult chip across a steep mound. A classic par five with bunkers down the left and water on the right. If you can get a good tee shot away, you can get close to the green with your second shot and long hitters can reach in too if the onshore breeze is not too strong. Enjoy the view. Back to back par five, with this one running back up the dune to a small green at the top of a decent climb. Short on your approach to the green is better than being long, which is dead. A tough par four back to the sea, with a hazard running down the left and bunkers on the right. A long approach is tricky, with a bunker on the right and out of bounds very close to the green on the left. Great short par four, back up to the clubhouse with bunkers left and right beyond 180 metres from the tee and a hazard running down the left, plenty of trouble left on the approach and a deep bunker on the right. Long par four that requires a precision tee shot across trees and scrub. Watch out for driver on the right with a long waist area about 2 to 240 metres out. Small green well guarded with bunkers. Another par 4 that has a blind tee shot across trees and scrub. 
Vesta hit a long iron aimed right of the green, leaving another mid to long iron in a cross scrub. Watch out for the bunkers and hazard about 190 metres off the tee down the left side. A great little par three that is meant to be one of the easiest holes on the course. Well done if you make your par. With plenty of bunkers and swales and a sloping green that is easy to three putt. A short par five back down to the ocean, but a tough tee shot with hazard running all the way down the left and lots of native scrub down the right. A smart play is to hit a three wood off the tee as you can get run down the hill. A green that is guarded on the left with a deep bunker and a steep runoff on the right. A par four back up the tune with hazard down the left and bunkers on the right. A three wood off the tee works well and then a mid to short iron into a small, well-protected green. A long par three that requires a precise shot to land on the green and avoid the bunkers to the left and right. A par here is like a birdie. Don't get intimidated by the tee shot, even though it's a 170 metre carry and you can't see much of the fairway. Right is the bailout and challenging the left can result in a lost ball in the scrub. The green slopes downhill, so land your approach just short of the green and it should release down. A cool par five, up and over one of the biggest sand dunes you'll see. If you can clear that dune with your drive, well done, and keep up the gym work. Blind second shot to a small green that is well protected. Walk up to the top of the dune before hitting your second shot to get your alignment. A great finishing par four that is tied off the tee with hazard in front and scrub left and right. If you do find the fairway, you still have a mid to long iron into a well-protected green. A testing hole to complete a great test of golf around this wonderful natural layout. Fantastic golf course. Yep. Yeah, tough but fair. Yeah. Definitely Thanks. Thanks. come back again. Thanks, Andy. Absolutely. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Lance. Thank you, Steve. See you next time. Thanks, Thanks. Steve.